While we're talking about personal development and letting go of limitations, here are what I consider to be the biggest self-imposed limitations any man or woman has ever had to deal with. First, procrastination. Procrastination is particularly life-threatening because when we put something off, it doesn't seem at the moment to be all that important. At the end of the day, if you have let a few things slide, it doesn't seem like such a bad day. However, enough of those days piled up will make a disastrous year and eventually a disastrous life. Our inability to come to grips with a natural tendency to procrastinate will surely send us drifting in the wrong direction. Before you reach the final session of this program, you'll have left procrastination behind. If you're still troubled by it, you'll have discovered that it's simply too costly to put up with any longer. Besides, you'll be too excited about where you're going to postpone the activities taking you there. Self-imposed limitation number two, blame. All of us have blamed others for our troubles from time to time. In fact, the tendency to blame someone or something goes back a long way. When there were only two people on earth, it wasn't long before they started blaming. The man said, it was the woman. She got me into this. And the woman blamed the serpent. Blame seems to be one of those negative tendencies that just comes naturally. The ego striving to defend itself. Remember the list I came up with to explain why I wasn't doing well? One of the items that was high on my list was prices. I told Mr. Shope that my problem was everything costs too much. However, he soon set me straight on that by saying, Mr. Rohn, that is not the problem. Let me tell you the real problem. You can't afford it. It's not it. If you keep dealing in it's, you will always be broke, unhappy, and disillusioned because you will never have enough. Don't deal in it's. Deal in you. When I finally learned to change my thinking from it to me, I changed my whole life. What a life-changing experience to finally meet someone who doesn't hesitate to put it on you or on your tendency to indulge in blame or procrastination. That is indeed a banner day when you meet someone who has learned how to skillfully and carefully attack the same problem that has kept you from doing very well or kept you beneath your potential or kept you off balance as to your own self-worth. It is so easy to mistake appearances for reality, to confuse the symptom with the real cause. Along with blame comes the third negative tendency we want to eliminate, excuses. Guess how many excuses we have? A million. And in the course of a lifetime, we will probably use them all, unless somebody finally comes along and blows all those excuses apart to make us come face to face with the real reasons for our current dilemma. Until that time, we will probably use another million excuses to prevent ourselves from having a million dollars. Here's one of the major questions I'll pose to you during this program. What are you going to do starting today that will make a difference in how your life works out? Good question, right? What are you going to do? See, if you don't do something starting today that will make a difference, guess what? It's going to be the same. And you can guess what the next five years are going to be like. Just look at the last five. The next five years will be like the last five unless you, major key, make all the changes. Now here's another key question. What can you do starting today that will make a difference? That's a good question. What can you do? What can you do with economic chaos? What can you do with massive disappointment when it's all gone wrong? What can you do when it won't work, when you've run out of money, when you don't feel well and it's all gone sour? What can you do? Well, let me give you the broad answer first. Here's what you can do. You can do the most remarkable things, no matter what happens. Hey, people can do incredible things, unbelievable things. A man can do the most amazing things with the most impossible circumstances. 
a woman can do the most remarkable things with the most disastrous circumstances. Hey, I found out kids can do remarkable things. That is, if they have remarkable things to do. I also found out if they don't have remarkable things to do, there's no telling what they'll do. Now here's why humans can do remarkable things. It's because they are remarkable. They are not dogs, animals, fish, birds, amoebas. Humans are different than any other creation. When a dog starts with weeds, he winds up with weeds, and the reason is because he's a dog. But that's not true with human beings. Human beings can turn weeds into gardens. That's one of the major differences, being a human versus being a dog. Humans can turn nothing into something, pennies into fortune, disaster into success. And the reason they can do such remarkable things is because they are remarkable. So why not reach down inside of you and come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts? They're there waiting to be discovered and employed. And with those gifts, change anything for you that you wish to change. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. And I challenge you to do all that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same after today, only by choice. If you don't like your present address, change it. You're not a tree. Now for the process of change, just a philosophical pronouncement won't do. It takes more than that. And it takes more than enthusiasm. I know we are hearing a lot about enthusiasm these days. We're still hearing the old cliche of the 30s, to be enthusiastic, you must act enthusiastic. But see, that won't help. I'm sorry. Hey, after you have leaped about, there are some things you've got to do or it isn't going to change for you. You can get all excited about lifting 200 pounds until you get to the gym. Then you need a new excitement. And the new excitement is discipline. Discipline, the major step to human progress. If there is one thing to get excited about, this is it. Get excited about your ability to make yourself do the necessary things to get a desired result. That's true excitement, not just optimistic panic. True excitement. Hey, what could you do starting today that would make a big difference in your life? Answer, no telling. What will some people do starting today? That's what's disappointing. It's not what we can do that's in question. What we can do is fantastic. What we can do is unbelievable what we can do. It's what we settle for that's disappointing. Remember, the major question to ask on the job is not, what are you getting? The major question to ask is, what are you becoming? What we become is what leads to all the good things. And the habits we form, habits of mind, attitude, and behavior, are a dominant part of what we are becoming. Now, I understand, as well as anyone, that forming new habits doesn't come easy. But new habits will come when we change. It is usually not in one cataclysmic explosion, but rather by changing small pieces and parts at a time. I think that's how most of us change. We just keep nudging ourselves in the right direction, forming one or two new habits at a time, little by little, until finally we've made the turn. And this is where the good life comes from, those personal changes. There's nothing you can do with the seasons, but there's everything you can do with yourself. Don't wish for the winters to change. Wish for your own attitudes, strength, and capabilities to change in order to handle the winters. Really making personal changes calls for 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. Wishing we could change is a beginning. But now wish must be translated into activity, and inspiration and affirmation must lead to discipline. We can affirm that we are going to change, but we must now form new habits and develop new disciplines for the affirmation to come true. 
Make sure your activities are not going in the opposite direction of your affirmation.